a lot of people are looking at automation and just moving forward with automating tasks and not thinking about the human and automation interface or integration. I think the right thing to do, and, and I think what we'll see more innovative companies doing, is looking at the capabilities that we have that are uniquely human, that, that just humans can accomplish in this business process, coupled with what we can augment them by in technical capabilities, and basically blowing up and redesigning not only business processes, but their organizations around that. Business processes may look completely different tomorrow than they do today. I think another thing that people aren't considering and that, they, that we, we, we need to help our organizations uh, think about is actually how to manage the digital and human workforce together. Um, again, some, some of the pitfalls that we see companies going through is they, they build an automation as if it were a piece of software and they try to let it run as you would let you know, a piece of software run. And that's, that's not the case. Automations in today's age, particularly intelligent automation, is more like a human worker than it is like a piece of software. And so, much like you would a human worker from an organizational construct, there needs to be an owner. Somebody needs to be accountable for the work of that automation. Somebody needs to be managing the quality and the output of what that automation is doing and how that automation can be improved to drive value. Much like you would give an employee goals and objectives, you would give an automation goals and objectives. You don't want to care and feed that so that it can grow to the next level. As we harness the power of humans with machines together, we're going to basically disrupt the entire structure and business process uh, for a lot of the things that we do in, in global business services today. There's been a lot of hype in this capability in the marketplace. There's been a lot of misset expectations that, you know, a very small investment with very minimal capabilities can drive significant or huge ROI. And so we spend a lot of our time kind of helping clients understand there's effort in, in developing infrastructure, plan, strategy, and vision.